everyone. Welcome to Foresight TV with me Anjali. The opposition India bloc consisting of 28 members has taken a significant step by authorizing their subgroup on media to determine the anchors who will not have any representatives from the India parties appearance on their shows. In addition to this decision, the bloc has also embarked on the challenging task of electoral seat sharing at the state level without relying on the standardized formula. Instead, the diverse parties within the bloc are relying on their mutual understanding and collaboration to ensure successful outcomes. Let's delve deeper into these developments and shed light on the strategic approach taken by the opposition India bloc. Here's a special report from Foresight TV. The Opposition Alliance has made the decision to hold their first joint public meeting in Bhopal, Madhya Pradesh in the first week of October. It is worth noting that the parties have not yet established a seat-sharing arrangement of Madhya Pradesh. The Amatmi Party, a member of the Alliance, has already released their first list of 10 candidates for the Madhya Pradesh Assembly polls. It remains to be seen if the Congress, a prominent player in the state and seeking to remove the BJP from power, will offer seats to the Amadmi party despite its current lack of presence in the state. This situation is mirrored in Chhattisgarh, another state where elections are taking place and the Congress is the incumbent party. Leaders of the various parties in the alliance argue that the seat-sharing formula may differ from state to state depending on the political dynamics and the party's performance in the previous Lok Sabha and Assembly elections. During the first meeting of the Coordination Committee held at NCP Chief Sharad Pawar's residence in Delhi, Omar Abdullah from the National Conference stated that seats already held by members of the alliance should not be discussed. The discussion should focus on seats held by the BJP, NDA or parties not part of either alliance. The Coordination Committee has decided to initiate the process of determining seat sharing with member parties holding talks and reaching a decision as soon as possible. The seat sharing negotiations will be conducted at the state level for both assembly and parliament elections, which is a departure from previous suggestions that seat sharing would only be for the Lok Sabha elections. The parties aim to finalize their seat sharing arrangement by the end of the October. Abhishek Banerjee, a senior Trinamal Congress leader and member of the Coordination Committee, did not attend the meeting due to his appearance before the Enforcement Directorate in Kolkata for questioning in a case. The party Parties have also agreed to address the demand for a caste census in the coming days as a response to the BJP's Hindutva narrative. The TMC had reservations about this issue during the Alliance Mumbai meeting, but the joint statement released after the Coordination Committee meeting stated that all parties present agreed to take up the caste census issue. When asked about the TMC's stance on the demand, Congress leader K.C. Venugopal stated that the decision would be made by the present members and that they would discuss it with the TMC. The Coordination Committee acknowledged Abhishek's absence, attributing it to a summons from the Enforcement Directorate due to the BJP's political vendetta. The TMC had been urging the alliance leaders to condemn Abhishek's interrogation. The parties have also decided to hold a series of joint public meetings across the country. The Bhopal meeting will primarily focus on the issues of rising prices, unemployment and corruption under the BJP government. Additionally, the Coordination Committee has authorized a media subgroup to decide on the names of anchors whose shows will not have any representatives from the India parties. The India bloc's Mumbai conclave proved to be a significant step towards strengthening their political agenda and election preparations. During the meeting, the bloc successfully established its coordination, election strategy and campaign committees, showcasing their commitment to a unified approach. Furthermore, the creation of separate working groups dedicated to media, social media and research highlights their recognition of the importance of these platforms in spreading their message effectively. The presence of prominent leaders such 
Rajas Venugopal, Sharath Pawar, DMK's TR Balu and many others demonstrated the wide-ranging support and collaboration within the bloc. This diverse representation from various political parties underscores their collective efforts to bring about change and make a substantial impact. Overall, the Mumbai conclave showcased the determination and unity of the India bloc, their commitment to a coordinated election strategy along with the establishment of specialized working groups positions them well for an impactful and influential campaign. With this level of preparation and collaboration, the bloc is poised to make a significant mark on the political landscape in the future. Thank you for watching Foresights TV with me, Anjali.